Hi guys, this is an installation video. We have um, new ISOs for you, beginning of April 2023, and we have to create a new how to install Arclex XL, XS, D, and so on. Something has changed. So let's have a video how to install. Let's quickly go over some settings. So I know people have some difficulties with the settings of VirtualBox, which is your default sandbox tool, right? A virtual machine tool. And these are my things. These days I've disabled these two guys because I know there are errors with it. So they have to fix it, not us. And then we have some megabytes that we're going to give away or gigabytes in this set, uh, eight gigabyte that I gave away. Going for UEFI, which is the newer system. Most of our systems these days, if you buy one now, it's going to be like that and enable PAE and X is therefore Inksy. Display is all the way up. VM SVGA is selected. And um, audios, this today it's on, right? Uh, so I have music, I can check, pipe wire is working, pulse out is working inside a virtual machine, which doesn't really have, uh, yeah. You put it on or not, right? It's up to you. The guys on Tiling Winner Managers and go for full screen, do this off show and full screen seamless. That's it. So that's my template. I clone this and I'm going to show you how to install XL. It's going to be a little bit different than in the past because we've changed your grub boot thing and um, made it actually simpler. So starting from April, right? Remember, April's full, the 1st of April. From there on, we made the switch between uh, having XF86 video drivers and not having them, which results in only three lines. All the rest is just um, extras. But these three lines is a decision of ours, right? Deciding, okay, this is open source, AMD, Intel, AMD, that's all that. And we have no XF86 video driver. It has been added to the list. Let's say in July or something, we'll remove that text. But for now, it's important for you to know that, hey, I'm not having that on the ISO. So if you install it, it's not going to be there. Next thing is NVIDIA. You do know that you have an NVIDIA or that you need NVIDIA. So choose these two lines between the, these two lines. This is, of course, no support for the very, very, very old NVIDIA graphical drivers. It's the pseudo Pacman minus S NVIDIA driver. And this is when everything fails. That's called no mode set. So you get a very small screen and, and graphics will be off, but at least you can boot. Right? So in my case, in virtual machines in total, not only virtual box in virtual machines, line one will be your line. And then it's just um, the general specter warnings. <laughs> that's basically it, right? So we can stop the video here. That's it. That's the difference. But I'm going to show you some more technical detail later, which files are gone. But for the rest, it's just the default uh, installation that you're used to. The easy installation, the advanced installation that will all pop up. Remember, if the screen is too small and in VirtualBox, the right control and F. Let's see what happens. Is it kicking in? No, yes, the service of VirtualBox. It's not, right? Let's wait for the CPU to do all its work. Voila. Control F, bigger, Control F, done, right? And then you move everything where it's supposed to be. So. Let's do a complete thing in the sense that this is the Arclinks Welcome app and we give you all kinds of advice and you can say, okay, let's get rid of everything, but everything is already gone because this is a clean install. This is how a hard disk that comes out of the shop or an SSD or an NVMe that comes from the shop, a shop, <laughs> put it in your hardware. That's the look. There's nothing on there, right? That's supposed to look like that. But most of us have already installed something. So you can click on the some things and then you say remove, 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 apply, and then gone. So that's our advice. If um, certainly if, if Calamar is 
tops on whatever difficult encryption or partitions you've made, then G part this is the wizard, right? He's he's the one that can erase anything and everything. This is more has more to do with where are you, right? Where do you live in the world? And we are Arch Linux, but 95% is Arch Linux, and all these servers are around the globe. So if you say mm, um, better change it, so you can click here, but mind you, probably not needed, right? Because the list that we use and mirror list is actually good. These are worldwide servers. These are servers that are the best of the best for most of us. But yes, there are servers from Argentina, Australia, you see the list. So I can change that. Secondly, some user today, this morning, uh, this, uh, uh, said something about, you should be able to install it offline. That's this, eh? that's this. So it is already able and it is possible. And so there you go, right? You can be, as I always say, you can sit on the beach and then install. You can sit on the airplane for all that matter and then install because there does not need to be any connection to the internet. But this is of course an advantage to being hooked up on the internet because you can install a lot more. Important to tell you is that these things are WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. WYSIWYG, right? So that means that this is gonna be on your system. Whether you like it or not, this is gonna be in your system. It's a bit and a byte and a bit and a byte it gets copied over to your hardware, done. Calamaris can add more, right? Not less, more. So this is um, new, that's true. So this is adding stuff to your system. By default, we have the Linux kernel and I'm kind of, um, how do you say that? My advice is that keep the Linux kernel around. Don't say I'm gonna install the Linux Zen kernel and get rid of the Linux kernel. It's good to have two kernels to have a fallback to. In Grub, you can say boot with Zen, boot with Linux. And if something happens to the Zen, you go back to Linux, right? Having a fallback is not a bad idea. That's one of the reasons we have also Yay and Paru. They're both AOR helpers. And if one of them pushes out a commit with an error, then we have the other, right? We just continue with the one that works. So just an idea. So all kind of kernels. So in the meantime, if you look years back, look at the kernels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 kernels that we have. Is it important? Each kernel has around 50,000 lines that tells give support for driver X, give support for Bluetooth X, to give support for internet card X, and so on, right? The Nix, as they call it, network interface controller. So yeah, if something, some piece of hardware is not responding, is not working, change the kernel. See if another kernel does the trick, knows the, the driver. And here are our XF86 video drivers. So they're not installed, right? You can have a, le a look and or a check. If you do sudo pacman, let's set the keyboard. If you do sudo pacman minus sy, basically you're telling pacman get the databases from the internet. You have to have internet in this case, right? And then you say sudo pacman minus remove XF86. Voila, proof is there. Uh, remember the WYSIWYG. You'll get these guys, which is touchscreen and input, and this is for VirtualBox, a dependency. Those will be on there. Well, not that one if you install on real metal because we remove it for you automatically. Now, there is one person who says, I have a machine with an AMD and it works, it installs fine, but if I install the video AMD GPU, it's a little bit more crispy. I mean, 
clear, right? The, it feels that it's better. So I leave it entirely up to you to decide if you want to install anything anymore, a, a more drivers. It's now an option, right? It's not on there. You select it if you want, but try first without, okay? Try without. You can later always do pseudo pacman minus s. You can always do that. So try that without it. All right. Now what you see is what you get. So SDM is already here. We just give you options, right? It's you don't need to click here. You don't have to. Do. The only thing you do is making it longer. It will download it again. It will install it again, and so on. It's already there. Well, not all these. Uh, Things, but yes, there's already a lot there. So SDM is obviously there because it's the login manager. Next, maybe you like combo, right? This morning somebody said I want to combine awesome with Plasma. Yeah, sure, no problem, go ahead. So things like that, you can decide on the fly in the machine here. But PAMIC is here, it's red, right? I think PAMIC is here, people, you don't have to start selecting and, and clicking anything. The only thing you do is make things longer. See what you get already. And after a while, you know, okay, single desktop is not there. Slack desktop is not there, right? You can see it here, it's not there. But Telegram is here, Tweak Tool is here. You don't need to or download it again, install it again. You make your installation longer. But there's lots of lots of choices. You see audio, video. I mean, there are so many things, so many browsers out there. You choose what you like. So that's adding. Calamari is more like adding stuff, adding stuff, but not removing. This is something we select because Vivaldi, sorry, uh, Arclix XL used to have Vivaldi, Inkscape, Gimp, Flameshop. So I've made it less bloat so to speak eh? bloated but yeah i would miss those guys so now i do download it and i install it later on it's not on the ice all right you can have a look here in the browser for example there is just firefox here vivaldi is out and chromium is out but i use them regularly this one is for arclix info vivaldi is for eric dubois and google chrome is to teach you guys chromium right it has already a meaning in my brain, uh, destination. This I do that with that, and this I do that, and so on. So here we select our keyboards. You choose in our distribution, Calamaris can do all this, but some restrict your freedom. And here we give you all the freedom you like. Let's go for JFS with no hibernate, a little bit thing here, and that's it, right? Choose whatever you want. We pressure, well, we, we appreciate, that's it. We pre appreciate the freedom in Linux. Anything you see and touch can be changed. Voila, that's another installation video, but the one for, um, the one for April. Let me go to one more website for, for the technical guys. Arclinks.info. The release article will be written shortly. In the meantime, we're keeping track on our beta pages what we've done, and I can show you already here XF86 drivers, right? Uh, then we have here some. Well, I'll let you read this, but basically, the technical guys want to know what's left out. All with the hashtag is not on the ISO anymore, and the video intel was. Is, is a clash and if you go and have a look at arch wiki they recommend not to use it i believe even a reference to red hat was that made there saying don't don't use it it will clash with all kinds of things so basically this is in touchscreen lip input is in and the video vmware because of the dependency of virtualbox and that's our default sandbox machine all right Mesa Utils is also out, but Mesa, of course, is in. That's the essence.
that's the essence, right? And that's why we only release the core ISOs in April, because of the word that's mentioned here. We want to be cautious. Many guys have tested it. I should say it in this video as well. Thank you, Call for testing on Real Metal. Many guys have tested it. Thank you for your time because it is uh, uh, time is because it's money and 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 you you did your work. Thank you very much for for testing all that and telling us everything works. It's a go for me. Go ahead. I can install anything, and that's great, right? So we have more the the sense of feeling. Okay, it's a good decision to do it because there are no issues whatsoever for our users. Neither do we see any issues here on our machines, but you never know. I tend to be cautious. So the bees next time, the B ISO that we're gonna build next month, right? This month, no bees. Let's test this out for another month. And then we throw them all out also from the B ISOs. Well, and the rest I'll leave to the what is new video. So remember, on Article Links, we have two things. What's new and how to stay rolling. Those are two videos that we always release once a month. All right, but that's for another time, another place. Cheers. Or should we wait? <laughs> I'll pause the video, right? I'll pause the video and then we come back. All right, let's restart. So remember guys, the more you select, the longer it downloads, the longer it installs. And there are some things that are already on the system. So why would you do that? Only if the ISO is really old, maybe. But even then, right? You just reboot with the easy installation you won't be able to as well and you just update but this looks maybe different guys gfs right looks different but it's okay it's a choice one of the choices Control t we're in virtual box 6.2.7 it always depends right which kernel do we have at this point in time it tells us we are on vmware svga 2 adapter all these little messages tells you okay he's on virtual box this Eric guy so updating is just update and if you've been working and installing all kinds of things from the AUR it's up all and then Paru kicks in with an extra line looking for AUR upgrades nothing to do he says so there is this we have an up-to-date system and it's created with this particular ISO that will never ever change because that's true it has been created with that ISO it will never be created again right all you do is update 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 and they call it rolling keep rolling and we have videos about that around 110 110 videos about how to update how to stay rolling right because it is a little bit of maintenance like anything like a like a smartphone like an ipad you need to know some things to maintain an operating system all right enjoy the learning that's what arcanlix is all about so you do know that from now on pseudo pacman minus remove there is nothing to be removed in that department at all all right cheers